Tigers got blown out today, 10-1. to Scoobles on the mound. First pitch he throws here was right down the middle. Did not have good location at all today. Anderson got a leadoff double with that. Next batter here, Robert. Another pitch he leaves over the middle, a little bit high. Crushes it over to center field, gets runners on first and third, and then Robert steals second. Next batter here, Abreu, gets a fielder's choice over to Scope. Good play to not throw home, but gets their first run in. Uh, next batter, Jimenez, gets a sack fly. That also scored a run, so making it 2-0. to zero. So a really rough start all three of these games. Our first hit of the game here came in the bottom of the first from Austin Meadows. Nice single up the middle. Uh, let me know what you guys think of Austin in the comments. I think he's been one of the best trades Al has ever made. Uh, Scooble got the second here, started with a nice strikeout. Looked like he was maybe going to get back on track for the day. But then the next battery leaves a pitch right over the middle of the plate again for a double for Adam Engel. I don't know what was up with Scooble's location today. He couldn't get any of the pitches inside. Did have a good rest of this inning, though. A nice strikeout here of McGuire on a nice fastball that he located pretty well. And then the next batter, another nice strikeout on Danny Mendick. So he did bounce back a little bit here in the second. After Miguel Cabrera walk, Victor Reyes crushed a triple to the gap. He's definitely a lot bigger this year, and he was way more patient today. I love to see that. Here is Torkelson's first at-bat of the day, a nice walk. He's been walking a lot recently and having some good at-bats, a lot of full counts. Uh, here in the top of the third, some more trouble for Scubel. Has one runner on and a nice pick by Candelario. Throws over to second, not in time to get the double play. Here in the top of the third as well, a nice located fastball, but Abreu crushed it. Can't really blame Scubel for that. He located it well, just a good hit. Here with runners on the corners, Candelario couldn't make that pick, scoring their fourth run. Nothing for us in the bottom of the third, and with one runner on here in the top of the fourth, Scuba leaves a pitch right over the middle of the plate and gets crushed for an RBI double. With two outs here, Scuba throws a pitch in the dirt, and Tucker makes a good stop and a great play to tag him out there before he got to the plate. Tucker is such a great catcher. Love having him back there. Elvin Rodriguez got the top of the fifth and a nice ground ball over there to Javi. Makes a nice play to Torkelson, gains the second out. Had a runner on here, but he got out of that jam. Ending the fifth, five to one. Torkelson got absolutely screwed here with a terrible strike three call in his second at bat. Feel really bad for him. Hope he can get his first hit here pretty soon. Alvin Rodriguez got the top of the six and a really nice strikeout here of Engel to get his first major league strikeout. Uh, that was really awesome to see. He had a pretty good day today. Next batter here, Reese McGuire, another strikeout. This time on three pitches. Here in the seventh, sadly, I feel like we left him in too long. He gives up a single here to Jimenez, scoring their sixth run, making it 6-1. to one. And then, for some reason, he was in for another batter, and Vaughn crushed a three-run homer, making it 9-1. to one. Garcia got the eighth inning in the first battery face, hit it to left field. Haas made an insane diving play, and he just subbed in. Hopefully we can see him out there and left a little more. Really great strikeout here from Garcia. A lot of movement on that fastball, so I love to see that. Foley got the top of the ninth, and with a runner on second, he gives up a single to Vaughn. Pretty, pretty good located pitch from Foley, so I'm not going to blame him too much. It's a better hit. Here's the final out for the ninth inning. Uh, Engel hit it over to Scope, ending the day for us. We went down pretty sad in the ninth. Miggy almost hit one out, but it went to the warning track. Him and Javi have almost hit homers a lot this year, and it, I just hate Comerica sometimes. I'm sure you guys do too. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of today's game. I was pretty frustrated with a lot of at-bats. I don't feel like we're swinging enough, fouling off enough pitches. So hopefully we can get a lot better at-bats in this next series. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll be back for another recap tomorrow.